I know what you're thinking, why did I buy a marching head if I never really intended on marching in the first place? Well, might be a long or short story, depending on what happens when I get to the editing room. be back um, I really do apologize for not being as active as I should have been just been busy with schoolwork and um, being a little bit stressed out with uh, my grades and stuff but happy to be back happy to be posting again now it's no secret that if you see my channel from the earlier days you know that I play Rebel drum heads I love the sound of them uh, I used to play Evans back in the day but that's another story for another day. So when I got my old Rockwood kit, I uh, wanted some new heads after I beat the stock heads up pretty good. And I wanted something that would last long and also that wouldn't have too much overtones. That's my reasons for getting the pinstripes from Remo. Um, they sounded really good and I still love the sound of them. I have them on my retro marquee here. But back in my Rockwood kit, they were really good. I later bought another pinstripe for the 12 inch. Uh, Cause those rat toms were bad. Let me tell you something. The rat toms on my Rockwood were 12 by 10 and 13 by 11. That may be straight for some, but it's a little too big for me. For five years uh, on the Rockwood kit, I've been playing the pinstripes and I never knew I never knew the differences between heads, between, you know, marching heads, which they call, which Remo calls Quirp Lock, and the uh, regular heads, which at the time were called Weather King. They don't have that printing anymore, but that's where it comes from. Five years, I didn't know any differences between the pinstripes. I just thought they all sounded the same. And so there was this one time I was just casually on the internet, looking up stuff, and looking up what Quirp Lock meant, and... When I went to Remo's website, sure enough, I saw a Crimplock pinstripe, and I was thinking like, hold up, was this, was this really a marching head? Does Crimplock mean marching head? And I was like, oh my, I couldn't, let me tell you something, I really couldn't believe that this was a marching head. No one to sound good to it, hi. You know, and this is the drum head. I don't know if you can see it that well because of the light, but it used to say Crimplock and the logo, as you can see, is pretty beat up. But it used to say Crimplock, and I seriously did not know I was playing on a marching head for like all five years. The whole time I was playing on a marching head, I just, man, I could not believe it. The moment I realized that, I questioned my whole drumming existence. Tried my hand on marching, ah, allergies. Uh, I didn't care about the walking that much. You never know what you can handle at such a young age, you know. But at the time I had allergies and yeah, I just couldn't do it. I didn't want to get anybody sick too, you know. So, it's just crazy that I worry about a marching hat. And since then, I sold the Rockwood kit and I've decided to keep this head. You know, a very special friend. Um, might want to sign this one day, you know. And I might frame it too. I did use this, however, and I still use it um, sporadically, albeit, as a little alternative to Big Fat Snare Drum. I mean, the products are cool, but this is just a money saver, you know? So that's pretty much how I got my first and last marching head. Also, just want to let you know what I've been doing because. As I said, I haven't been on here in a while, and one of the things that I've been doing um, while I was away was schoolwork, of course. I already told you that in the beginning. Also, I've been uh, stacking up on my um, skills a little bit. I've created my own. Since I don't want to have to pay for anything, you know, I don't want to pay for anybody else's footage. Also, as I said, I've been creating my own tracks. So there you have it, y'all. It's good to be back. Good to be uploading again. Good to be active. Uh, once again and 
and hopefully I will stay that way for a long time, at the very least, until the winter, because you know, finals. That's about it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I got more videos on the way and more material. That's about it for me. Glad to be back, but I gotta get out of here. Gotta catch up on my sleep. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, love y'all. See y'all soon.